Hey guys, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. Today is the day we get to do the flip through of our bee journal. Um, I'm sorry, I've been kind of MIA lately. My entire family has COVID except for me. So I have been kind of doing double duty with going to work and trying to take care of them. So it's been, it's been interesting to say the least. But I do have this journal uh, done, I think. And um, let's take a flip through. So let's start off with... Um, this back here of this journal it's a one signature journal and um, I have added these fun uh, little trims to it that I got from Michaels and then I also added one of these really cute fun bee charms from Crafters Companion and that just kind of finishes off the outside that was that fun brad that we put on um, the spine of the book we have our fun cover here let's get started at taking a look at the inside so in our first part here in our cover we have a little fun pocket and a little tag of course we've got um, make sure I'm kind of centered here journaling space on the back of it Take that back in here this beautiful bee kit um, do I still have my notes somewhere here um, sorry let me see if I can find my notes um, I thought I had written down the kit. I might have to just link it down below because I don't... Oh, sorry, it was um, the digital kits is the Golden Leaflet Bee Junk Journal Kit and then Swipes and Keepies Vintage Honey Bee as well as um, Artsy Fartsy, some free tags from there. So yeah, that's what we used in this beautiful kit, this beautiful journal. So we have this front page here where we have this beautiful tuck spot. And right now I just have uh, one of these cool tags in here. I'm going to be adding my uh, beekeeper's journal. And let me just check, I am getting my um, wax seal ready here because I want to add a fun bee wax seal to my, my um, journal maker's letter. So let's go ahead and actually just tuck this to the side here. I think it's ready to go. I'm going to bring in my letter. And I have this fun bee um, wax seal stamp that I thought we could use to seal it up with. I just thought that would be really fun. I have this really cool set of wax beads that I got. Um, I got these off of Amazon. So you can go ahead and uh, just go to wax beads on Amazon and you can see the different kits that they have. I also got a whole bunch of different seals um, from Amazon. It came in a kit um, that this wax seal, this bee seal was in. Um, I also like to really use my uh, snail mail um, stamp that I got or seal. This one I think I got from AliExpress though. So all right, let's take a look. I think our wax is... It melted enough yeah I think it is it's this beautiful gold kind of sparkly wax so hopefully I'm just going to give it a little bit more heat here bear with me I think we are ready so let's go ahead and put this on our let's make sure I signed it did I sign it that'd be a tragedy oh I didn't Okay, so well, we gotta do that. We gotta sign our our journal here, our letter. So let me find a pen and do that quickly. Sorry guys, not as prepared as I thought I was. That's okay. Okay, I've got a pen. I'm going to go ahead and sign my letter. And then I also have to remember to sign my journal as well because I haven't done that yet. So, all right, I signed my letter. And we are going to go ahead and pour our wax just right on this fold. It's a little bit slow. So bear with me here as I get this beautiful wax poured on here. Hopefully I'm going to have enough. I added three beads, which usually is enough. I don't know, it's really thick this time though. I wonder. 
I'm gonna cheat a bit. I have my little torch lighter here. I'm just going to try not to burn the paper and just heat up the bottom of this this um, thing here. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is not going the way I wanted it to, you guys. That's okay. Put that on there. Quickly use our seal. And just press that onto there. And just hold it for a couple seconds. And hopefully we get the B image. I should have probably used four, but I'm always worried about using too much of the wax and wasting it. Because I like to do different colors and then I don't want to waste any. So let's see what we have here. Oh, that's all right. So that kind of worked out. Can you guys see that there? In my little bee. So that's fun. I'm going to just go ahead and blow out my candle here. Just so I don't start any sort of fire. There we go. All right. Well, it's not perfect, but it's still a fun wax. Still a fun wax seal. You can definitely see the bee, bee and it is keeping my letter closed. So let's go ahead and that to the side. And we're going to tuck this right in here. Like so. Okay, then let's try and get somewhat centered. We have this beautiful coffee dyed paper with this fun kind of pom pom trim on it. We have our book page where we have this fun little pocket where we use some threads. And we've got some fun tags that you can write on. Again, this one was a little different for me because I've never done just a one signature journal. Um, usually I have two or three. Um, here we have our fun little flip out pocket. And on the inside, we've got some tiny little fun tags to journal on. That's a cute little surprise. Take those back in there. Flip that back over. Those great digitals that you can write on. Another pocket with a journaling card. And this is the one where we did some of that splattering on and got that gold effect. Super pretty. Really like that. This is a um, pocket from the kit. I didn't really make any any um, pockets per se. I, I think I used all of them from the kit. Some ephemera and one of those little bee fussy cuts here on the corner. Just kind of fun. Um, I used some bee stamps and just put them on this fun kind of almost like onion skin paper. More of that beautiful digital. I just love that. And then this is that fun spread that we created with these tags. Just kind of outlining it. Some ledger paper. This is our faux, um, what do we want to call it? Faux ruffle, I guess you can kind of call it, where we did some paper crimping and then I just sewed some fabric on there. Did a fun little beehive stamp on there. Again, that's a Crafter's Companion stamp set. Some honeycomb stenciling and another little bee fussy cut. Lots of places to write. Here, we have another fun pocket. This is um, out of some of ephemera. You could use this as a journaling card too. Some fun journaling cards and tags that you can write on. Super cool. Tuck that back in properly. All right. And then we have some of that fun dyed ledger paper. And I just wanted to create a little bit of an interest on here. You can also write, you could glue this down and create it as a tuck, but I really like the coffee dyeing on the inside. looks like a beautiful sunflower. Um, and I really wanted to keep that to go with the theme of the sunflowers on this side. All right, continuing on some more fun stenciling. That was with the, um, what color was that again? Let's see if I can see it here. That was the wild honey. How apropos, I should remember that. Smart coffee dyed paper, a fun belly band with another tag where we did some of that gold splattering, a tag from, I think this is from Artsy Fartsy, if I remember correctly. So just tuck those in there. This could also be used as a bookmark. Some sewing around the edge of the pages here. And then we have a center of our journal. Another belly band with a fun little journaling card right on there. Coffee dyed paper. And here is a fun page, actually. Um, so we have a pocket from the kit. 
Then we have this little tag journal, I call it. So I put, um, this was a, from the kit again, I believe. And then they were all kind of similar tags. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun just to kind of create almost like a mini journal on a ring? And so that's what I did. So the back sides of these tags, um, you can uh, journal on and leave it as like a little ring journal, or you can definitely open it up, take it apart and use the tags throughout the journal itself. Again, some more of the fun um, tags from the kits. So we'll tuck that in there. And these would be fun just to add to gifts too, if you wanted to. You can also decorate them up more if you like. Another flip out from that ledger piece that was coffee dyed with the pattern of the, the flower. So much fun. Another flip out pocket. And in this pocket, what do we have? We have some more fun little ephemera pieces, little tiny journaling cards, all honey and bee themed, which is super cute. Tuck those back in there. And again, I kind of did some reinforcing on the bottom of these uh, book pages because they are old book pages from a Reader's Digest. And I just added some washi just to make sure it doesn't rip when you want to um, turn the page. All right, some more fun little ephemera and stenciling here. Some of that honeycomb stenciling. Here we have a fun little altered paper clip. Adds, added some black and yellow jewels on there just to create a little fun look. And then we clipped on this cute little envelope that we decorated with some book page and a stamp. We've got some fabric there and we put believe in yourself, which is cute. Inside, what do we have inside? We have nothing inside of here. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything in there. I might just leave it for the recipient to add whatever they like in there. Okay. Again, some more of that faux ruffle, um, a bee stamp that says nature, some of that ledger paper, the other side of that kind of collagey tag paper that we did. Um, some more little bee stamps on this kind of onion skin paper. A fun little side tuck here where we have a nice journaling card and another fun long tag again you can use this as a, a bookmark if you want we've got some of that gold paint on there Make, makes it quite fun and sparkly to look at tuck that in there here we have a little top tuck that i created out of this label with this fun bee journaling card some more stenciling just to give the page a little bit more interest uh, here we have a, a tag that I created, a side tuck, and in here we have some more tags and a little journaling card. Added some fabric to the top of this tag. So yeah, lots of little places to write and tuck your secrets in. More that coffee dyed paper and trim. And we're coming to the last pages here. Again, one of the big side tucks. In here we have a fun B envelope and in here is just some of that fun coffee dyed paper so you can write a letter to someone if you like and that finishes off our B journal so yeah so this is going to be going up on my Etsy so keep an eye out for it I hope you enjoyed um, this uh, little journey on our B journal and yeah I will just see you guys on the next video thanks so much for joining me and PS I love you